Hey, sweet peas. <gasps> Say hi to Murphy. Say hi, everybody. Good job, baby. Good boy. Okay. Ready? Let's take it. channel M in the wild um, where I discuss my life as a reseller as a pet sitter and pretty much anything else that I can kind of squeeze in it was uh, January 20th I believe and I went down to the Goodwill bins yesterday to try to get uh, some new inventory to get listed because I'm trying to really build up my Poshmark closet. So I was down there for about four hours. Also, I just, I have some other work to do this weekend, so I don't have time to hit uh, other thrift stores. So I just wanted to try to maximize what I could get done yesterday. I think it was a little bit better than the last couple of times that I've gone. Not crazy great, but um, the last couple of times have been really hard. One time it was just all junk all day. The last time I went, which is about a week ago, I got home and discovered that all of my best pieces had some kind of flaw or damage. So I've had to either just re-donate a bunch of it or mark it way down um, because it had like an iron mark on it or um, a big stain or a big hole that I just hadn't seen before. So that was pretty frustrating. When I try to look really carefully at the store, sometimes it's just really overwhelming when you're there. There's a lot of visual overload and so you miss things. It happens. It happens to everybody, I think. But it happened to me like all day. So anyway, I am here um, with a haul. I, um, I do a lot in hats and I'm actually uh, starting to customize some hats. So I'm going to leave those out of this haul today and I have some cleaning and repairs to do and I have two or three hats that I want to do a little work on and show you sort of the customization that I'm looking at. I'm going to save that for another day, but I will show you what I found today and, or what I found yesterday and, um, what, yeah, that's it. We'll see how this goes. So the first thing that I found is just a small thing. It's just a little Kate Spade wallet, just a little, now I can't even open it. Uh, just a little snap closure, um, really cute. It's brand new, probably not worth a whole lot, but it's this beautiful kind of metallic rose. And I thought this would be really cute for Valentine's Day. Um, in things, in linens, um, I only found one of these, but I still grabbed it. This is a UGG, just a Sherpa pillowcase, really soft, again, looks brand new and unused. It's an UGG accessory. I'll go ahead and grab it. And then I found two pairs of shoes. Um, I found this pair of Patagonia leather loafers. They've got sort of the honeycomb rubber sole and they're in great condition. They look pretty much unused. The only thing is that the left shoe has this little flaw that looks like it got some kind of, I don't know, paint thinner or something on it. So there's just a little indent there, but I'm still willing to grab these. They look great. They're Patagonia. They're well built. And then I also found, it's rare that I actually find two, the Sorrells, but I've never tried selling anything but Sorrell boots. And I finally found a pair of um, these really nice leather loafers. So I've done a little um, shoe cleaning and neutral polish on them. They're white, so, you know, there are some smudges that you can see. Um, a little tiny bit of wear on the heel, but overall they look great. So I found a few men's pieces. So um, my favorite is this uh, Columbia PFG. This is a, this is a caped fishing shirt really nice and it's a really fun color this kind of orange sherbet color this is the bonehead and this is a 3xl um which is just a great size so gonna put this up 
This is probably going to go on eBay and on Poshmark. Then just a really sweet little shirt. It's really cute. This is from a brand called Sovereign Code Los Angeles. Um, but it's a men's, just a baby blue shirt. But if you look closer, it has tiny little saguaro cacti on it, which is just really adorable. It's very subtle. Um, I do also have a couple shirts from a previous haul, but I'll just show them here because I'm not going to do that. So this is another men's shirt. This is just an Arizona, but really fun little watercolor watermelons and a bright teal. So again, um, a fun novelty print for summer. And then this just took me right back to the 1970s or like Big Lebowski, but it's the most fun shirt. So this is like a mushroom print polyester shirt. And again, it's all sort of watercolor mushrooms. Really, really cute. Size large. Yeah, I had to get that. It's adorable. And then I think the last men's piece that I found is this heavy duty J. Crew work shirt. So long sleeve, really thick, really soft, great condition, size medium. Um, but yeah, that I think will do really well. Oh, I have two more men's pieces. I don't know why I've been finding a lot of these lately. Um, I found a really cute vest a couple weeks ago and that's out, I think in my shed, but I found this, this is a vintage banana Republic made in USA men's vest with this really nice kind of neutral plaid and in great condition. And then um, this was just, again, a really fun, vibrant print. Um, so this is from a brand, uh, Desert West by Sherry Holt, again, made in the USA, which is great. Keep this stuff in circulation. Um, but this has this really fun, like floral and little animal, little horses prints all over it adorable had to grab it and that should be it for men then i rarely pick up kids clothes anymore i just don't like doing it but this was just gorgeous and it has a couple little flaws but i'm still i still wanted to grab it so this is a brand this is a uh, rothschild and this is a girl's pea coat with faux fur collar and a faux fur wrist and it's got this beautiful flare at the bottom and then it has these adorable little rose snap buttons um and i thought gosh for you know for valentine's day or whatever easter this is just too pretty to leave behind it does have like a little moth nibble up here um but the rest of it just looks great. And it's got, uh, it's got like a branded lining inside. It's gorgeous. So this is a girl's 6X um, and it's all wool. <laughs> so I haven't ever tried denim shorts before. So these are just some Levi's 550 shorts. Not worth a lot, but with, you know, with spring break and summer coming up, put those up and see what happens. I've never tried them before. I don't buy much made well anymore, but I found this beautiful, like all cotton, sort of Southwestern Aztec kind of print, little embroidered dots all over it, sleeveless, beautiful neckline. This is really, really beautiful. This is a new without tags, torrid top, beautiful lace overlay, nice, kind of sweetheart neckline, um, a little bit of flare at the bottom to give you some extra coverage. Just really pretty for date night, for cocktail night, for Valentine's Day. Just a really pretty piece. So I know Stranger Things is still really popular, so this was just in the bin. Um, so I just grabbed this. This should be really easy to list. I found... There are quite a few of these up, 
but it's still really cute. And this is an XL. So this is Lucky Brand. Again, a brand I rarely pick up anymore, but this is a really soft sort of open front fringed cardigan, very neutral, but with this beautiful Southwestern pattern on it, really soft, really cozy. And then this, I initially couldn't see the tag because um, it was covered up with a dry cleaning label. So I grabbed it and I looked it up when I was in the store and was kind of blown away by the prices. So this is a brand called Tucker Nuck. This is a size medium and it's this beautiful brown kind of, I don't know, zebra or tiger print. Anyway, animal print is never going to go out of style, I think. So it's beautiful. It's got these kind of flared sleeves, nice little gold button accent. And um, yeah, this, I mean, I'm seeing similar ones that people have listed for $80, uh, 60 to $80. So we will see. I did find one Intimately Free People piece, just a little tank top. So that's lightweight, easy, just put that up. And this is, I think, a size large which is nice to find in that brand. I do have one little knit hat. This is Andy's Gifts. And the, the ear flap beanies just sell like crazy. I actually have one that sold pretty much at the exact same time I had it listed on Poshmark and eBay, and it sold on both platforms. So um, I have to go deal with that later today. But anyway, this is alpaca and wool, really soft. Um, and just a super cute, bright pattern. This is a silk scarf that I found and I can't find any branding, but I'll look at it a little bit more, but just a gorgeous piece. So I may combine this with another silk scarf or see if there's something else that I can do a little bundle with. Speaking of that, I actually have two more things that I sort of bundled together. So a few weeks ago I found this uh, really pretty cup she just like a beach wrap cover and it's got the little tassels down at the bottom but then yesterday I came across a beautiful looks basically unused cup she swimsuit and amazingly they're pretty much the same color scheme the brick red um, the, of the suit shows up on the flowers in here so I'm gonna bundle these two together. And then also a few weeks ago, I found this cute little Cheyenne uh, long fringed vest. Um, this is a Western brand from Wyoming. I've had this up for a little while, but yesterday I came across another Cheyenne piece. And this is like this nice brown, lace top. So I'm gonna um, lot these two together as sort of a little Cheyenne lot um, and see if those do a little bit better. One more piece before I get to my two favorite pieces. So um, these are some vintage velvet long kind of Bermuda shorts. Really, really cute. You can probably see the logo here, but these are Juicy Couture. And I pick up, um, I pick up their little Y2K hats and I pick up other like nicer pieces that I find. And these are just adorable. So we shall see how these do. And then we had two finds that I was so excited to find. Um, one of them is uh, vintage, but there's no way I was going to leave this behind. But this is a vintage Bloomingdale's blazer um, kind of feels like a boiled wool but it has the most beautiful trim on the wrist and around the neckline just a single button blazer in gorgeous condition it's a 12p a vibrant color this was just way too pretty i'm really excited to have this i love this piece and then a new rotation had come around and I dug through a couple of bins. Um, and then just sitting there, I think somebody had grabbed it 
and just put it back, just laid it out on top of, you know, a bag of linens and things, whatever. And it was so beautiful and I grabbed it and like, who doesn't grab this? So this is one of my very, very favorite brands to sell. This is a Sundance top, um, absolutely gorgeous. It's kind of sleeveless. It's got these frayed edges, a little button in the back, but then it has this absolutely amazing, very, very fine embroidery detail. And it is all over this top. It's so beautiful. And this one is uh, made of modal. So it's fully lined and it's modal. So it's just gorgeous fabric. It hangs beautifully on the body. It looks to me like a medium to a large. Um, so incredibly excited to find this piece. I cannot wait to get this listed. That I believe is my whole haul, except for the hats. Uh, well, I do have a haul of hats that I'm going to share um, in a few days. And I also have a haul of sweaters that I've done recently. Um, and I'm going to make those separate so that this stays kind of manageable. So um, that is all that I have today. I have to go walk a German Shepherd and walk my dog Jack, who is sleeping here at my side, um, and then get back and start listing. So thank you very much for being here. I really appreciate it. This is just my second video. So um, just, I have to try to edit this and that's gonna take some time, but I really appreciate your time and any feedback that you have, any comments that you have, tell me what your favorite piece is. Um, tell me if you've ever sold any of these brands before. I would love to hear from you. So thank you very much and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.